Happy Saturday, Connecticut. Welcome to Your Purpose and Business TV, where each week we will share tips and strategies for entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Raquel Walters, and today my co-host, Leticia, and I are getting into all the things from the power of networking, how to leverage your network to grow your business, and how to pursue your pivot into a tech career. Plus, later, the latest trends in fashion. That's right, Raquel. And our first guest is sharing how she leveraged the power of networking to grow her cleaning business, the maid experience. Please help me welcome her to the show. Hi, ladies. Hey, Shanisha. Hey, hey. <laughs> Hi, Shanisha. Welcome to the show. It's great to have you with us. You have scaled your business with securing by securing large contracts with other businesses and institutions like student housing. How were you able to scale your services and what resources help you to keep up with your business? When I opened the cleaning business, I had already had previous experience in higher education. I had uh, worked at a university and I've also, when I was in college, I was very active on campus. So it was a natural transition into student housing. I already had a lot of the background and I also live in a college town. So I utilized a lot of the uh, my previous knowledge to be able to leverage into the student housing industry. Um, then I also started connecting with a lot of different business resources that's in that area and networking and being able to meet people and tell them about my business. So it was very powerful to make those connections to help me with my business as well. Wow, that's that's amazing, Shanisha. And um, you've touched on this, but you have been able to scale your business and you you didn't do it alone, right? So I want you to talk about that because you did speak about networking. So, so how did you leverage the power of networking to grow your business? And do you have any tips for networking to share with our viewers? Yes, yeah, so... I believe that uh, business is transactional. It's a relationship. So it's more about building those relationships. And that's exactly what networking is. The one tip that I would tell people is to not be scared. And I would just tell them to get out there and see what type of resources that are local to you, because there's a lot of entrepreneurship programs that are local, a lot of things on Meetup or Facebook um, events, and just go out there and meet people. Tanisha. These are such great tips. Now, what would you say sets you apart from other cleaning companies? I think what sets us apart from other cleaning companies is my background as a user experience designer. So what I do is I make sure that not only do my clients have a great experience, but also my cleaners and everyone that we have contact with. So we're really very meticulous about providing great experiences to other people. Uh, we also have a, a charity arm where we provide, you know, free or, or reduced cost services to people in need, such as cancer patients or families who are leaving the NICU with sick babies because, you know, they have a lot of stuff on their plate and cleaning the house and things is like one less thing that they would have to worry about. We're heavily tech enabled. So we offer online booking and real time availability. So there's no type of surprise charges that the clients would have. We're very environmental um, conscious. So we prioritize the use of green cleaning products. This is so good, Shanisha. And there may be someone listening from home thinking, I'm good at cleaning too. So what tips do you have for them? And how do you get started with this type of business? Yes, I would tell them that cleaning other people's homes is totally different than cleaning your own home. And then also, if you like cleaning uh, like that and you're very, very detail-oriented, you might be slow which can in turn cost the client money. So it's about efficiency and speed. To get into the business, I would say for them to, you know, look out for mentors who are in the industry who can help uh, shorten your learning curve. I particularly do not have a cleaning academy, but I do have a program for 
local service business owners who are looking to get into student housing. Thank you so much for being with us today. But before you go, how can our Connecticut fam connect with you and book your services? Yes, um, you can connect with me at Hey Shanisha on Instagram and Facebook, I believe. And um, if you are looking to book services, uh, you can reach out to me at themadeexperience.com or you can send an email to info at themadeexperience.com. We are preparing to go nationwide. So we will be coming to a city near you. That is very good, Shanisha. We will take a quick break and be right back. Despite having a 9-to-5 job, you still find it difficult to pay your bills and have money left over to spend on experiences that brings you joy. If you're at a point in your life where you know that there is more for you, you want to start a side business and express your multi-passions but you're not sure if your gifts or ideas can be profitable, believe in yourself and connect with us over at RaquelWalters.com and let us help you to get clear on the knowledge you have that you can monetize right away. Hi, my name is Leticia Bryce and I help entrepreneurs DIY their tech and automate their business processes. You can find me at Leticia Bryce Consulting on social media. You are watching Your Purpose and Business TV. Collins, owner of The Maid Experience, where we strive to enrich our clients' lives by alleviating their cleaning duties so they can focus on being the happy, productive, and creative people who are so needed in this world. You can find The Maid Experience at www.themadeexperience.com. You are watching the Your Purpose in Business show. business idea but struggle with analysis paralysis on how you can bring it to life our proven system will help you to master your mindset get clarity on your skills and teach you how to start an online business from idea to income streams connect with us today over at raquelwalters.com and schedule your consultation call Hi, my name is Sherry and I help moms find work from home jobs. You can find me at AFTH Virtual Dot Solutions. You are watching Your Purpose and Business TV. All right, are you ready to bring your brand to television? Listen, it is possible and it's possible without pitching to all of the different networks across the, the country, across the world and begging for a seat at their table. Listen, come check us out on The Connect Show. We broadcast on the CW Network every single week, reaching more than 2 million households. And what we do is help you build and promote and market your brand in front of an 
audience that actually has a pocketbook. They actually want to spend money and better themselves, better their strategies, their systems. We focus on women in business and female entrepreneurs. So if you are building a brand that you know has the potential to be so much bigger, or if you're prepared and ready to scale, join us today. You can register to be a guest at theconnectonline.com. I'm Latanya Coleman and I help people look stylish. You can find me on Instagram at H-O-T-T-G-Y-A-L underscore fashion. You are watching Your Purpose and Business Show. Thank you for having me, ladies. Welcome back, Connecticut, to Your Purpose and Business TV. We are so glad to have you here with us. If you are interested in pursuing a career in the tech industry, get your pen and pad ready because my co-host, Leticia Bryce, will be dropping all the gems to pivot you into tech. Leticia had two decades of experience in the tech industry. So let's get into it. A lot of people assume that to work in the tech industry, uh, Leticia, you have to be techie or tech literate, which keeps a lot of people from even considering the possibility to pursue a career in the tech industry. Are there any myths out there that you think need to be demyth? And what are your thoughts on that? Well, Raquel, you said it. Many people mistakenly think that you have to be tech savvy to enter the tech field, but that's not necessarily true. Now, I remember some time ago, my mom didn't even know what email was, let alone how to send an email, but she was teachable. And by the time I was done with her, she was confident enough to dismantle her desktop computer and change the hard drive. So I was so proud of her for undertaking that task all on her own. So my advice here is to not allow limiting beliefs to hold you back. Develop a growth mindset and rise to the challenge. Be willing to learn something new. Um, you know what? You have nothing to lose. I love that. Uh, you know, um, for anyone wanting to pursue a career in the tech industry, but are not sure what jobs to consider or are qualified to do, what do you recommend? Well, I would recommend that they do some research and find something that they can be passionate about and something that goes well with their personality type. This is going to allow them to enjoy their career and really thrive at it. That's great. Um, you know, let's just say, I know we have extroverts and introverts watching right now, wondering what are the best jobs for them? So what are careers do you recommend for extroverts and introverts, as well as for those who are a little bit of both? Well, if you're an extrovert, you might want to go the route of tech support, you know, tech sales, project management. In those roles, you'll be able to interact with people a lot and you're going to enjoy that. For an introvert who prefers focusing on a single task, probably, then there are jobs like being a computer technician, a data analyst, software engineering, cybersecurity. You know, they do a lot of work on their own. For an ambivert, you know, somebody that has a little bit of both, there's project management as well, but there's also network support, UX design, business analysts, and jobs like this. So you can switch back and forth to your comfort zone. I love those. The options are endless. So what are other tips you have for those pivoting into tech? What challenges should they expect to face or what resources do you recommend to assist the pivot? Yes. Yeah, so if, if you're interested in pivoting, you can attend a technical college or take tech courses online in your spare time. For those who do not have any tech experience and want to work for any employer, do you have any suggestions for increasing their chances of getting hired? What tips do you have for preparing a resume and interview? Yes. So once you figure out which avenue you want to go, I would say get your certifications because interviews really respect the level of knowledge it's going to take you to become internationally certified in this industry. And another thing that is highly valued is critical thinking and prioritization. 
yeah critical thinking is huge <laughs> and um, a lot of businesses have transitioned into remote only companies and recruiters are looking for specific skills that traditional companies do not look for so um are there certain things that you should highlight or discuss in our resume or interview when applying for remote jobs Yes, of course. Your ability to work without supervision is key, as well as having excellent time management skills. And you should also be able to relate experiences that, that you had have had before, where your critical thinking has been a real asset for the company. I love all these tips and resources that you are sharing. So before we head to break, is there anything else you would want to share with us? And how can we work with you and connect with you? Yes, you can always find time in your schedule to learn a new skill and a new skill means another stream of income. And who doesn't want that? And as to how I can help you develop skills to sort of start your own side hustle, I can teach you how to create a website, how to repair computers. And these skills, um, you can use them as a side hustle or develop them into a full time career. So don't wait. Email me at hello at letitiaprice.com or you can DM me on social media at Leticia Price Consulting. Thank you, Leticia, for sharing all these amazing tips. I'm looking forward to learning more from you in the future. Yes, it's my pleasure to be able to bring value and I love sharing knowledge. It's my favorite thing. Now, we have much more coming up after the break. We're getting stylish with our next guest. So don't go anywhere. Do you have a business idea but struggle with analysis paralysis on how you can bring it to life? Our proven system will help you to master your mindset, get clarity on your skills, and teach you how to start an online business from idea to income streams. Connect with us today over at RaquelWalters.com and schedule your consultation call. Hi, my name is Leticia Bryce and I help entrepreneurs DIY their tech and automate their business processes. You can find me at Leticia Bryce Consulting on social media. You are watching Your Purpose and Business TV. to television listen it is possible and it's possible without pitching to all of the different networks across the, the country across the world and begging for a seat at their table listen come check us out on the connect show we broadcast on the CW network every single week reaching more than 2 million households and what we do is help you build and promote and market your brand in front of an audience that actually has a pocketbook they actually want to spend money and better themselves better their strategies their systems we focus on women in business and female entrepreneurs so if you are building a brand that you know has the potential to be so much bigger or if you're prepared and ready to scale join us today you can register to be a guest at the connect online.com hi my name is sherry and i help moms find work from home jobs you can find me at afth virtual dot solutions you are watching your purpose and business tv
Keisha Collins, owner of The Maid Experience, where we strive to enrich our clients' lives by alleviating their cleaning duties so they can focus on being the happy, productive, and creative people who are so needed in this world. You can find The Maid Experience at www.themaidexperience.com. You are watching the Your Purpose in Business show. a business idea but struggle with analysis paralysis on how you can bring it to life our proven system will help you to master your mindset get clarity on your skills and teach you how to start an online business from idea to income streams connect with us today over at raquelwalters.com and schedule your consultation call we are living in challenging times and despite having a 9-to-5 job, you still find it difficult to pay your bills and have money left over to spend on experiences that brings you joy. If you're at a point in your life where you know that there is more for you, you want to start a side business and express your multi-passions but you're not sure if your gifts or ideas can be profitable, believe in yourself and connect with us over at RaquelWalters.com and let us help you to get clear on the knowledge you have that you can monetize right away. I'm Latanya Coleman and I help people look stylish. You can find me on Instagram at H-O-T-T-G-Y-A-L underscore fashion. You are watching Your Purpose and Business Show. Thank you for having me, ladies. Happy Saturday. We're back with a fashionable guest who is dropping in with styling tips and the latest fashion trends. Please welcome Latanya Coleman to the show. Hello, thank you for having me. Greetings, everyone. It is so great to have you with us today, Latanya. I love your look. How did you step into the world of fashion and who has been a major influence for you? Well, I can most uh, honestly say this all started with my beautiful mother. She pretty much inspired me with fashion, um, not to brag or boast, but being the only child, I guess she wanted to have those dress up days with a little doll. So she created me. And um, that's how the world of fashion began with Latanya and hot gal fashion um, behind the scenes. So pretty much through my mother, influencing from my mother, you know, always dressing well, always keeping me, you know, best dressed, you know, and dressing me with a new outfit just about every day that I will attend school. So that's where fashion came from. And I just love it. Yes, it's so important to have a mentor and positive influences in your inner circle, in your personal life and in business. So how long have you been in business and do you have any future plans for your fashion career? I have been in business eight years and nine years. Um, this year will be the ninth year, sorry. Coming up, I'm an online-based business. I do have um, social media handles as well where I go on and I pretty much style some outfits or you may catch me doing a photo shoot. I have also done styling in the past for my own fashion shows. Um, I just enjoy fashion and I wish to take it from here as far as becoming an, um, a traveling stylist. Uh, more so on the scenes, whether it's, you know, for a talk host or whenever the opportunity, you know, arrives, I'm willing to take off from there and become, you know, more of a fashion stylist, but still have my hands on you know, being able to get items to style my clients in or what have you. That's amazing, Latanya, because you are a stylist for sure, because you style these beautiful earrings. So thank you. Thank you. you. So, <laughs> you're welcome. So when styling, where do you get inspiration from? Um, do you have any favorite brands or designers? Yes. Well, I really do enjoy um, seeing different ideas from Zara. Zara is one of my go-to um, persons as well, as far as inspiration, as far as with my business, I do carry modern um, and vintage pieces, which I'm sourcing into more of the vintage piecing pieces and picking up collectible items and high, you know, high end vintage pieces and mixing it in with a little modern um, look as well. 
This jacket that I'm actually wearing is actually paired with a dress that I simply purchased from Target. And the jacket is actually a vintage designer. So learning how to mix patterns, you know, add the modern and vintage together to create the look. It's pretty much my aim. Okay. So it's said that there are rules in fashion to follow. Do you have any rules that, that you stick by? And what are your top styling tips you give your clients? Well, to me, with fashion, there are no rules. I would say risk it all if it takes it, you know. You know, dress up your looks. Add that statement piece. It pretty much brings out the outfit, and it pretty much saying, I have a ride to the occasion. So you will get the look, and you will get, you know, the heads to turning when you enter a room. Just add your statement piece in, and always wear your beautiful smile as well mm -hmm. to go with the look. I love it, Latanya. So Latanya, it's cold in Connecticut and we're already ready for the spring. So do you have any looks to show us? Of course I do. I simply just took this simple dress from Target. I added a blazer with it. If I want to be prepared for the weather in Connecticut or have a girl's night out, I'll simply unbutton the blazer to give me that more casual look. If I feel like I'm feeling a little, you know, chilly, I'll just simply add it to my look to jazz it up. You can simply zip it up or you can leave her open, pop your collar up and tuck your um, hands into your pockets. And there you have a simple look and you're ready to go out on the town. Latonya, your clients must love working with you. What services do you offer and what services do your clients love the most? Anything that I have on my rack are all items that I would wear. I would never send my clients out in anything that, you know, I wouldn't wear. So all of my looks are based off of my style and things that I would wear because I would want a returning customer. That's how you have, you know, residual income um, from returning clients. They're happy. They're satisfied. I would say always make a, a customer feel appreciated, you know, whether it's, you know, thank you. I appreciate you. You know, add maybe, I don't know, any suggestions that, you know, they may feel comfortable or always give them a look where they could dress up or down because you never know where your customer may be heading, whether it's to work or to do some running around. And I just really enjoy fashion. I really do. Awesome. All this sounds so fun. I am ready for my styling makeover right now, Latanya. <laughs> Tell us. How can we connect with you and work with you? Okay. Be sure to send me an email at hotgal, that's H-O-T-T-G-Y-A-L-1-4 at gmail.com. Or you can simply reach me on Instagram at hotgal, that's H-O-T-T-G-Y-A-L underscore fashion. Thank you, Latonya, for being with us today and for all the great tips. We enjoyed being with you and all the value you added to the show. Yes, we loved having you with us, Latanya. Thank Be you sure. for the opportunity. I appreciate you, ladies. Be sure to set your DVR and pull up with us next week as we bring you everything from tech and business to strategies and systems to help you elevate your journey of entrepreneurship. And keep up with us at yourpurposeandbusiness.com. We'll see you next week.